Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Blender art stream where the air conditioner is on and the theme doesn't matter. Oh, got a bug. I've got so many fruit flies in my apartment right now because it's that time of year. I get a lot of fresh produce and that fresh produce has a lot of stuff in it. Hello, everybody. Let me... Ooh, grapefruit. Let me start off by saying apologies for the noise. It would be worse if the air conditioner were not running. I do have it running. Hopefully my apartment doesn't get so cold that the uh, air conditioner stops running because that'll be just a weird scramble, I guess, for me to play white noise on my phone. Anyway, there's something happening outside. Uh, some sort of charity stream, charity charity event, maybe, or party. I, I can't, can't quite tell. It's not great. <laughs> anyway, 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 what I like about this is that uh, I can stay cool. It's not that, here's the thing, it's just not that hot at New York today. Um, but hopefully, you can't hear it. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad it's not coming through too bad. I was doing audio tests, and the audio tests were like, the noise coming from outside is comparable to the air conditioner noise that is just a scant yard away from me. And so it was just like, this is just how, this is just how this has to be. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Can I raise my volume a bit more? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Hi. I should be louder now. For better or for worse. Thank you, Zappy Mouse Boy. It's bang season. Welcome to summer. It's time for bangs. You say summer lovin' and I say it's time for bangs. Let's do some Hollow Knight creatures. I did... Oh, God. I've already fucked this up. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. Sounds better now? Okay, good. Good. Uh, let me... Oh, my God. Well, I, the good news is I found the shortcut for masking. The bad news is I don't want to... I don't want the shortcut for masking. <laughs> I want the shortcut for... What are you... What's happening? Is this just the what the shortcut is? I guess because I'm in this mode? Okay. I know it's happening. Strong start. High energy. We're in it. Okay. You got an email for an interview. Congratulations, Cinnamon. That's exciting. I hope it goes well. I hope it's a job you really want and it goes well. I'm going to add image. I scraped the internet for pictures, sprites, so that I would have some, some reference imagery of some good bugs. Oh, going to be in-person interview? Okay. Well, that's very exciting. Don't mind my guess. That's very exciting. <laughs> if you came locked and loaded with interview puns, any place that is into that is the best place for you. And if they don't like it, they don't deserve you. All right. <laughs> I was on the wrong axis. For a moment, I was like, oh, do I just not get reference images and sculpting? But no, it's there. Our friends are here. I'm going to... And maybe move it back a little bit. Um, so I figured we'd do some cool Hollow Knight creatures of what whatever animals we want to do. Here's um, Ho Holifer J Knight, the main character of Hollow Knight. Uh, I think this is the lady you buy map stuff from. Um, we have two grandpas with big old beards. Um, here's the Executioner. I love this dude. Look at how sad this little, <laughs> look at how sad this little worm is. Um, this game slapped. If you haven't played Hollow Knight, I really highly recommend it. It's a great game. It's super engaging. The design is beautiful. La fun, la fun gameplay. One of these days, there'll be an expansion. There'll be a DLC, Silk Song. And then maybe I can play that on the stream. I mean, here's the thing. I got this image from the internet. It's possible that none of these are real. Uh, I, I, some of these I recognize as, as real things. So we've got like Hot Tub Mama. And we've got the cute big rideable thing. Cat Bus. Uh, but I, you know, I don't remember Mushroom Dude. That could for real. That could for real be a trophy. Oh, they're all real? Okay, thank you, Hollow Judge. I write... I, I trust you, Hollow Judge, because of your username in this area of expertise. 
Okay. So I guess I guess we're just going to get like into it. Mushroom Man is real. He's a secret thing. Okay, maybe I might not have ever unlocked Mushroom Man. I like his I like his deal though. He's got a good deal. These are some good creatures. This is a good game. <laughs> this is a good game and I like it. And maybe I'll play some later. Uh, I'm going to start with Bunny. I'm going to start making a hollow, hollow bunny. Because that's what we had sort of talked about doing. And then I got distracted with hair. <laughs> as, it, as it goes. But we'll start with... Oh, ooh, already. Have I cursed myself by... Yeah, I certainly have, huh? Hold on. We're gonna rotate you. Hmm. Hmm. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Hey, gamers. Hey, Faith. Hey, Peter. Muscle bug. I like muscle bug. Ika, we did end up making sort of a... <laughs> it was... I can't say it wasn't a bat. It was a bat. It was also a little bit of a bunny. This one's going to be bunny, but also bug, I guess. Oh, I've also been wanting to play a Plague Tale. I, you know, I clocked that it was the free epic game, but I haven't actually gone and done a thing about it. Uh, so part of why I wanted to do Hollow Knight creatures is I, I it's kind of an extension of the Five Weird Cats stream, which is one of my favorite streams because it was really weird. Uh, and it was fun to talk through what aspects of a creature make it identifiable as that thing. So like what how, what things do you need to have on a bunny to make it look like a bunny? Felix, Phantasma, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Blender Artstream. That's too much. That's too much, but we should also make a fox. Or an anteater. Okay. This is gonna be... This is gonna be tricky. So, I, when I think of bunnies... I think of... I think of snoots, and I think of ears. Two big ears, cotton tail, carrot accessory. I think I agree with all of that. Big ears, cotton tail? Well, okay. So I'm gonna... We got big ears. I'm gonna make these more rounded. But also, I mean, let me throw this out there. Uh, maybe maybe this bunny's had a hard time in this, in this dangerous Hollow Knight world. Maybe thinking like... Maybe maybe lost an ear. Maybe this this rabbit's had a, a rough time of it. In the Nether Dark, I don't remember what the Hollow Knight world is called. But I think that'll give it a little bit. I I'll say this: the the Hollow Knight designs are all pretty funky. Like we got our one little dude, but all these other all these other cuties, they got a lot of a lot of shit going down. Okay. Do those ears read bunny? <laughs> Do these ears read like bunny ears? Do they need to be thicker? <laughs> Hollow nest. Okay. One flop. I like one flop. Flop is... A difficult <laughs> it's hard to get things to flop in blender unless you apply some sort of physics to it and my computer has pro proven that it is not capable of physicking but let me see what I can do okay that actually that's a pretty good flop that's not a bad flop I did not, I made a choice to not turn Dino Tobo on at the beginning of this stream. 
um, time, time is the only thing that will tell if I regret that. At any moment, I might turn it on, in fact. Because I'll regret what I've done. Let me, let me just, oh my god, again? Again with you? There we go. Alright, I'm going to smooth out the inside a little bit. Just get a little bit more dynamic shape. The other thing about the Hollow Knight designs is that they all... They have very, very dynamic and, and iconic shapes. I feel like more than most video games... Hollow Knight's one of those ones where you could see an outline of a character and be like, Oh yeah, I know what that one is. This is a good game, is what I'm saying. Okay. Feeling good about the ears. I might dino topo on and smooth them out a little bit later. But let's figure out the snoot situation. Gotta have a cute snoot. Let me look at bunnies. Gotta have a cute snoot. I'm looking at some bunnies. They all have cute snoots. That's what I'm going for. Gotta maybe do this. I think maybe I put the ears too far forward. So I'm just gonna crinkle that skull a little bit. Actually, I'm going to undo all that. I'm going to turn symmetry back on, and then I'm going to crinkle. There we go. Whoa, too much crink. Okay, there we go. A little bit of crinkle. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That looks all right. That looks mostly okay. The fourth pantheon, dang. Chungus bug. Thank you, Nightbot. Chung may we'll have to we might have to make a chungus bug. I mean I've seen some muscular bug requests. Chungus bug feels like it's in line. A muscular chungus feels like it would suit us well. Oh, it got crooky. All right. There we go. That's a little bit better. They put Chungus in Space Jam too? What? What does that mean? What does that mean? Chungus was in it? Everything I've seen about that movie has seemed like it might be a joke, but it's all too real. Also, it did not do very, it did not make its money back at the box office, at least so far. Um, which I will admit to being a little bit pleased about. Uh, okay. Thinking about the eyes, the eyes are just going to be big and vacant. Uh, let me add eyes right now. What's it gonna be? We're gonna be doing a lot of cylinders today, is my guess. This is gonna be a cylinder heavy stream as we make some eyeballs. We might be drifting into dog territory. I think you might be right. Uh, I think I made the snoot a little big. When I add the snoot details, it might come through a little bit more. I mean, Don Cheadle is a dedicated actor. I don't... I don't... I can't think of an, an actor who will it will commit more to whatever he's doing. He seems like he just really loves to act, and I love that in a person who is an actor. Oh, hey, Ron! Um, I don't know for a fact that Don Cheadle wasn't in Hollow Knight. Um, so I can't, I can't really, I don't feel comfortable dissuading that thought pattern, you know? Alright, let's dupe. Dupe. 
Oh, oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> I turned off uh, symmetry, and now I'm paying for it. But that's life, you know? Sometimes... No, I have nothing. This is just gonna look weird. Is the, spa is the Space Jam 1 soundtrack good? I mean, I know the Space Jam theme slaps. But is the whole... Is the whole situation good? Weird. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's just, we got to do something with this space. I saw somebody said that bunny ears are closer together. So let me, I'm going to do that and see if that helps. Bun, bunny this thing up a little bit. Sometimes you got to gin stuff up and sometimes you got to bunny it. I mean, Sipa, well, yeah, <laughs> that could happen at any moment. Uh, okay, let me think about how to smush. Let me think about how to smush this thing. Pinch? Is pinch going to do it? Symmetry on. Pinch? Oh, I don't know what that's doing, but I don't like it. No, no, not that one. Definitely not that one. Uh, maybe we'll just grab. I know we use grab for everything, but it's, you know, it's just good is the problem. Uh, for my 3D editing, I'm using Blender. Let's give this bunny a little bit more jowl. I, I think of bunnies as having a little bit more, more jowl. Jowl than puppers. Wow, one of those eyes is pretty on the point, and the other one got really, really wandered off the mark. <laughs> I spent so much time adjusting it, and it's really still pretty... Pretty, pretty wild. <laughs> They're thinner at the bottom. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Just can I do... The jowl helped a lot. And again, I don't... It's wild what parts of a creature turn it into other creatures. Oh, kind of, yeah, kind of a piglet vibe. Well, Ron, can I throw this out here? I think piglet has a design that would fit pretty nicely with Hollow Knight. I feel like, I feel like you could, if, if somebody had slipped Piglet in this breakdown of Hollow Knight characters, I don't know if I would recognize that he wasn't there. Piglet literally has a thorax, Peter, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Okay. Let's turn you off and clear you up a little bit. Mm. 
Max Hill, that's a honestly pretty good idea for a polygon video. That feels like that would be a good spicy take. Although I wonder if it's, it might be too in line with Pat's really good um, Bloodborne Muppet video. <laughs> it's really just an excellent video. Okay, that's getting there. I'm gonna adjust the eye a little bit. I can tell it's just, it's just off. And let's, let's go ahead and give those eyes the really creepy, dead, creepy, dead energy of all the Dark Souls, or the Hollow Knight eyes, <laughs> um, by making it all the way black. Extremely, extremely <laughs> matte, extremely matte finish. Okay. All right, let's, um, I'm going to look at a bunny again. Yeah, the snoot is, is moving out a lot farther than I think it needs to. Uh, it's kind of more, I feel like bunny nose a little bit more down. Kind of more when a, a slope situation. Yeah, yeah, talk gibber gibberish. Yeah, gotta gotta get it down. That for some reason did make it look a lot more like a mouse to me. For some reason, the drop snoot. Uh, the eyes should be hollowed out bits in the skulls. Cinnamon, I I think I agree with you. Mactil, do you think I could play the Hollow Knight soundtrack without getting? Got out getting struck because it is a game soundtrack what if i <laughs> what if i put on a a no talking let's play of hollow knight in the background do you think that would get do you think they'd be chill with that i guess probably i'd have to have hollow knight as like the the game i was quote unquote playing um simon you make a great point also a pretty upsetting point yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That got a little bit better. I'm going to go, I think, even further with the jowls. And maybe more forward. Bunnies have such interesting, like, elongated faces. Keep the snoot short. I'm going to hide these eyes for a moment. We'll come back to them. I think the long length is making it mousy. All right. Let me... Whoop. Okay. Let me add the... I'm going to add the thing the features the facial features what that buns have high tall bridges like the nose bridge is really tall let me get a side view of these buns you know you're right it really does like their head their forehead kind of goes whoop whoop um do all bunnies have a five head is what i'm learning right now Okay, I actually think that is helping a lot. Also kind of getting a little bit guinea pig vibes. But I think the high bridge is moving us farther away. Farther away from mouse, which is what I was hoping for. Yeah, they got good almond shaped. They've got an interesting shape head. I mean, the back is fine. Here's the thing is like, it doesn't have to be perfect, because it's going to be, it's a, it's a stylized Animal Crossing, not Animal Crossing, that's a different franchise. 
it's a very stylized version of this. So as long as it's as long as you look at it and say, yeah, that's a rabbit, that's good enough for me. And so I think Bunny Nose is kind of going a down. Yeah. Bunnies are cute. I mean, looking at bunnies and learning bunny anatomy will make my next bunny even better. And considering I've barely done even a single bunny drawing yet, I'm excited about that. The, the cumulative process of understanding the shapes of things, it's tricky, but it's good. Gotta make sure this is a real firm, notable, visual point on this bunny's face. Oh no, bunny warrens. Yeah, they'll get ya. They'll get ya feet. Um, this bunny's gonna have buck teeth. I'm making the note to myself right now to add those. Can I, am I gonna be able to add those? Whoa. Whoa. I don't know why it's changing all the pixels. Why are you changing all the pixels? Everything changed, changed shape. Interesting. Dinotope was doing some shit to this thing. I'm um, already regretting doing buck teeth. Why did I think it needed this? What have I done to this beautiful mouth? But it's too late. No going back. Not on this show. Getting there. We're getting there. Trying to think about how to make the buck teeth visually iconic in the way that they would be for a Hollow Knight. Oop. And I think the idea, I think if I make them broader and then pointier, and then maybe the body can have like a broad pointy shape. Because this thing's obviously going to have to have a cloak, because everything in Hollow Knight has cloaks. What if the tooth was a hollowed out hole in the mask? How would that, how do teeth, how would teeth do? How would that do, how would teeth be like that? How would, how would teeth do be like that? What are you saying? Oh man, all right. Let me think about how to even do that. So you think there should just be a gap? You think there should just be a gap on its face where the hot, where the, where the, where the tooth should be? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can undo back to that point. Oh, woo, that was a weird half, oh. Hey, wait a minute, what did I do? Okay, 
we're cool. So wait, wait, are you thinking the tooth is hollow? Like the tooth is, like the tooth is hollow? Like this? Like it's... I hope you enjoyed that sound. Uh, while you further explain your horrible, horrible idea. So, okay. I, okay. So you're thinking like, um, let me model out what I think you're thinking. Are you thinking like... There's a buck tube shape hole. Like like this, where there's just like a hole there? <laughs> like what I've just done? <laughs> Are you imagining a piece coming out? Like, um... I, I, I think it works. <laughs> Are you imagining? Okay, let me, hold on. Let me, kind of a situation like this. Where like, <laughs> nice nail. Thank you for clipping that. Are you? Th is it something like this? You were just imagining a hole. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a hole. A hole we can do. A hole we can do. <laughs> All right. Let me. I'm gonna try something for the eyes. I don't know if you're going to let me do this evenly. Well, the first thing is the eyes should be real big. And I think I am just going to delete the pixel, the, the um, shape where the eye be. And I think that's just going to be our eye. <laughs> I think that's just going to be it. Yeah, let's go ahead and delete those vertices. I am getting cold. I am getting cold. I am going to peek out and see if the DJ is still there. Hold on. Okay, I think we're, I think we're safe. I think we're good to go. I can still hear music, but I don't think, I don't hear any laser sounds. So I think the DJ's probably gone. But we'll just have to see. Okay, let's get back to these eyeballs. I'm going to make two, these eyeballs are not going to be even. And this is going to be, going to be pretty fucked up. I think this is going to be pretty fucked up. I think the DJ is still out there, but I think I think maybe the crowd has been slowly convincing him to be less loud. I think just having cavities for eyes is going to be pretty cursed. And I just wanted to put that out there. So that everybody knew where I was at headspace wise for this decision. I think this is going to be pretty cursed. I'm curious. I don't know how I'm going to make. I wonder if I can change the inside color. The color of the inside of the bun. Alright and now let's do the snoot.
That's uh, some interesting topography here. And I know the topography is my fault. Uh, and I accept that. Okay, now it does just have void. It does just have a void now. Does that look like is in there? It's the replacement for buck teeth? Do any of these bugs have buck teeth? They really don't, huh? None of these bugs have teeth at all. Oh no, this guy kind of has... Kind of has some stuff. This guy kind of has some stuff. It looks more like baleen. But that's fine. Bug teeth. <laughs> Babe, I like it. <laughs> Alright, let's do body. Let's do body. That already got so far off. <laughs> let's see, maybe I'll, I'll go slowly. Maybe. Let's just do this. Let's just puff this body out. Uh, what are we... So many cool body types. What are we... Uh, what kind of body should this bun have? What kind of body should this bun have and should it... have a cloak? Because a lot of these have cloaks. A lot of these things have cloaks. We're going to be doing a lot of cloaks this stream for sure. God, it's already 8.40. All right, we need to, I need to be moving more. I was hoping to do lots of animals. Well, okay, okay. Wait, I have an idea. So this bunny obviously has to have some sort of rat, a carrot-based carrot based weaponry so maybe like a big carrot broadsword that it has over its shoulder and maybe it can have a cool pose where it's like yeah that's what rabbits sound like old tiny gangsters yeah i'm a rabbit see how we all this big old carrot i've got excellent eyesight i'm a bunny does the rabbit from Moss have a big ol' carrot sword? Listen, all big ol' rabbits should have big ol' carrot swords. Or big ol' carrot scythes if they are farmers. Carrot-shaped body to match? Yeah, Raptor King. Raptor Queen, forgive me, I'm so sorry. I misspoke. You are correct. We're going to give this rabbit a big, big old weird tube body. It's kind of going to look more like a mandrake, I think. In fact, let me... Oh, God, I hate when it does this. Just, just get up there. Just get up there. You are not special. You are not spe- oh my god, just get back up in there. Alright, I'll just undo a bunch. We're gonna do- oh my god, uh, Blender. Blender. Blender, why do you do this? Blender. <laughs> You're being such a little pedant. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is gonna get worse. Just a little bit before it gets better. <laughs> and I also cannot promise it will get better. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I think, yeah, I think a big, big old cloth body. And I think uh, it's going to come to one single point. 
to to do kind of the because we want this kind of carrot carrot energy and uh the the legs will be distinct obviously but we'll get we're gonna get there Uh, let's do a rough shape of like an arm. Oh my god. Oh, Blender. Why do you test me so? This, we might end up making one Hollow Knight animal, and it might be this bunny. <gasps> okay. And then it's going to have... I guess this should be more forward. I mean, Hollow Knight, kind of a horror game. So I think that tracks... Is this going to accidentally be a super anatomical model? No. I'm, st I'm putting my foot down on myself right now. No. It's going to be an iconic abstract bun. Hollow Knight bun. Actually, no arm. Yeah, nice nail. I think so. I think this is, this is my. I, I I'm I'm ripping off Hollow Knight. It was such a success, and I liked it so much. And I thought, well, I can't do Hollow Knight, but what if I did a game that was exactly like it in every way, only everything was mammals? And then when the judge calls me up and says, "Did you steal from Hollow Knight?" I'll say, "No, they're all mammals. That's nothing like Hollow Knight." Uh, and I'm going to make the... Oof. Oof. Look at what we've done. Look at what we've done, gang. Look at what I've done. Alright, let me... I'm going to put a carrot in its hand. Maybe it's like a carrot lance. It's a carrot lance. I just decided. This is a lance knight. Okay. There we go. I'll move this. Let's do... Could it have tassels? I honestly don't know where to, I would begin. And I'm making a tassel. So I'm not going to commit to that. But we'll try it. Alright, and this is... We all just have to know this is a carrot. Let me add... Let me slap some shading on there. There we go. God, the highlight color and the color I chose for this carrot are indistinguishable. There we go. Uh, there we go. A dull orange color? Yeah, I think that... You're right. That makes more sense. 
Everything is so matte. The finish of this game is so matte. Maybe like a... Kind of like a rusty, almost rusty orange. That... Now that looks like something. Did accidentally make this whole thing carrot again, though. There we go. There we go. All right. What is this link you posted? <laughs> is that candy? Is that like a little candy umbrella? I see lint. That's great. If I had gotten that for Easter, I would have been perfectly delighted. Hungry for carrots or hungry for candy? We're going to fuck this lance up later. We're going to add a little bit more texture to that lance for sure. <laughs> it made such a weird buff bunny. <laughs> Oh, Bonavere is a really good name for this. Okay, remember that, Millennial Falcon. Remember that for later. I'm so bad at remembering the names that you guys come up with if I don't write them down. In fact, let me just copy and paste that in a different field. It's a buff bun. She's a, she's a buff bun, for sure. Lola Bunny ain't got nothing on her. She also lumpy. <laughs> Which also Lola Bunny does not have on her. This is Bunavir, our our lump, lumpy buff queen. They nerfed Lolita in the movie? How? I guess her name's just Lola. Not everybody whose name is Lola is Lolita. And Lolita's name wasn't even Lolita, it was Dolores. Okay. The Lady Diabolonite bunnies, yeah. Regrettably, yeah. Um, God, there's some cool shapes. All right. I just love, I love all these shapes, but I love the the this executioner dude especially because his he's such a low rider. His crotch is so low, but I'm really into it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Bonavir Humperdink? Is that what you're suggesting, Peter? <laughs> HD version of the- ah! <laughs> Nice nail, you're right! You're right! Nice nail! Incredible! I mean, we could make some short legs. I was going more for a, a kind of a carrot silhouette. Uh... But I kind of do like, I do like that low, I do love that low rung, low rung look. Let me, let me, let me, let me, you know. I'm going about this entirely the wrong way. <laughs> For my, the vision that I have now, I'm definitely going about this the wrong way. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there together. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> this is, I'm not making any progress. This is bad. Okay, no, I've got an idea. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, we're just gonna shorten this whole situation and then I'll extend the legs out from there. And she's gonna end up with like a kind of a Venus de Milo energy in a moment if I don't get this fixed. Kind of a sculpt, kind of a weird Greek sculpture energy. Quanta? Did we say that at the same time? Because of the delay, I think we might have said that at the same time and that's pretty incredible. Let me just. I 
I mean, because like, uh, Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight creatures, they all got pretty round bodies and pretty tiny feet. And I know that tends to be <laughs> the shape that I go for anyway. And so I don't see why I shouldn't do it now, today, when it's more relevant than ever. This bunny gonna have a big old glute, for sure, for sure. But I wanna get the legs. I wanna figure out what, what I'm doing with these legs. <laughs> yeah, Faith, this rabbit is just like full of carrots in, in, in multiple ways, in more ways than one. This is like a, a find, find the carrot in this rabbit kind of game. And I'm going to make, I'm going to make the body because the body's going to be, God, it's so weird and lumpy right now. Also, the body has gotten so big in comparison to the head. This happens a lot. I don't keep a good eye on proportion. But this bun, this bun gonna have a cloak. Maybe I should make the cloak as a separate object. Bye, Chuck Towski. Have a good time playing Dread Hunger. That game slaps. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome, Detuned Piano. We are making art. <laughs> this might be my Hollow Knight boss Sona. Is that a thing? Because it should be. Oh god, we're in the we're in the lands. Okay. Nervous about what I'm going to end up doing to this mouth if I spend too much long too too much time in this area. Cuz that mouth can get that mouth is has great potential to get really disastrous. Centaur but other animals is a great idea and I would love to do it. I feel like I I will have to sit down and learn um, horse anatomy maybe before I feel confident enough in just winging that. Horse anatomy seems very difficult to me. I feel, you know, Knife Snail, I think I, I think I have seen some hollow sonas. Yeah. Thank you, Painting Goblin. I feel like that's definitely something I've seen. Oh, I've, how is Centaur Wars? Because I saw a promo for it and it looked real good. Oh, there are hollow sona makers. Wait, are there like pit crew, but hollow sonas? Because that sounds cool as hell. So many cloaks, but they don't all, I mean, all of these creatures, so many of these creatures have cloak-like objects and or carap carapaces, carapi, that are cloak adjacent. That makes it tricky, because cloaks are cool. I'm trying to decide if this thing should have a cloak. Upside of cloak is no body. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like a tabard. And that's going to be, that's like a cloak. 
and and it prevents me from having to make a nude bunny for internet perverts to enjoy. There we go. Now that's a modest bunny. Now that's a good modest bunny. Yeah, tabards like double cloaks. <laughs> modest bunny versus modest mouse. <laughs> um, John 1 CH or John itch possibly. Uh, I appreciate your honesty. That's all we ask here at Let's Design a Friend, which has always been the name of this show. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit Christian Edition. <laughs> What if instead of, what if making clothes was like sculpting instead of sewing and it was like a subtractive process? Somebody's car is getting stolen right outside my door. Oh no, they took care of it. Yeah, yeah, it's just a solid block of cloth and you've got to you've got to like search your heart to figure out what is inside of it and then carve it out and that's how you get pants i you know i'm going to say it i think that'd be okay i think that'd be pretty cool i think they'd last a long time oh no uh-uh not on this not on this stream none of that on this stream no the family friendly stream. Sometimes there are butt plugs, but that's just nature. <laughs> I see you just want to peek through. You just want to peek through a little. I'm not gonna let that happen. You can keep peeking through. I'm gonna keep keep squashing you. <laughs> Obi John, your mom's correct. Okay, well, this is no longer, the middle section is no longer responding to my administrations. It says that's as, that's as, that's the shape of that. All right, let me we're gonna switch back to the bun. I'm going to give this bun an arm. Really, <laughs> just the weird, the weird, this weird, horrible, shapeless sack thing that I've put Bonavir in. <laughs> Why have I done this to my beautiful bunny? Why have I hidden her beautiful body? <laughs> okay. Okay. Do any of these creatures really have hands? They just have like nubs. They all kind of got nubs. All right. Good. Good. Then this creature gets nubs too. Welcome back, Cinnamon. Some of them have really horrible little thingies. 
Some do. Bonavir does not. In fact, this is just going to be... I'm going to fix this. Don't look at this. This is going to look bad for a bit. Oh my god, mutant. Mutant arm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh my god all right we've got to do something with this weird sack i don't know what exactly i think i can do um quote 69 holds up I'm just going to say it. Quote, quote 69 holds up. For most things, you only need two dimensions. And Blender is Blender is trying to, is out here trying to convince you you need more. But I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. Uh, I like the self self -refer referential quotes. What if I systematically um, altered some of the quotes in the quote list to be like a choose your own adventure? <laughs> and so you had to you had to, <laughs> to work your way through the quotes. <laughs> it would be like, do you do you go down the spooky haunted slide? Or do you meet meet your friends back at the popcorn stand? If you if you meet the if you meet them at the popcorn stand, go to quote four hundred. If you go down the spooky slide, go to quote ten. Her boob is too raucous. Oh no, don't get smaller. I just want to smooth you over, ma'am. <laughs> they don't end with that millennial falcon, but they all do have a middle point somewhere, somewhere right in between the story where, yeah, it, it do just look like, it do for sure just look like a butt plug. Okay. Right now I'm just trying to I just need to Don't we're smoothing. We're not we're adjusting. The the whole posture of this is super whack. You know what? Actually, she should be 1 foot forward. I had that part right. Obi-John, I also absolutely always did that. I'm not going to reread this entire book from the start. Are you kidding me? I'll just go back the way I didn't go. Yeah, Chalk Diverus, I did. I did. Uh, and looking back about it, I regret nothing. Nature's <laughs> Adventure Manual saves coming. Yeah, it was saves coming. Yeah. 
you're right. You're right, and I have no regrets, and I'd do it again. Ugh, this has gotten so, the shape of this is not going where I want it to go. Okay. The cloak will be back. I just wanted to get the rest of this bun. <laughs> At least somewhat anatomical. Somewhat, un maybe a little anatomical. It's not going to be super anatomical. The head's very small. And the muscles are pretty whack. But, I mean, who, who amongst us that does that not describe? You know, am I right? Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last stream, which is <laughs> risky, <laughs> but worth it. I am gonna <laughs> just fuss with the head, head body proportions a little bit, just a little bit. Because this head's so small. In fact, let me grab just the head. The head's too small. I want it, I don't want it to get too mascotty. But that was the a opposite of mascotty. That looks better. Okay. Cinnamon, <laughs> it was perfect. It's gonna fuck, we're gonna, I'll change, we'll do, we'll deal with the shoulders for sure. But the head was just too small. Does that look better? That, that looks more in proportion, right? Just for fun, let's look at it if it were real big though. That's too much. <laughs> that one's too much. This, we're just gonna do a little bit. This feels right. This feels at the right place. All right, and now we've got to <laughs> do something with this whole area. Okay, this is looking, this is looking better. We might have to come back, because we're, I think we're only going to get this one, because it's already 9.13, we're only going to get this one bun done. Uh, but this is a cool theme and an interesting brain challenge, so I'm probably going to do it again. That's how I feel about it right now. That could change at any moment. I could zoom out and be faced with the things that I have wrought and then change my mind about literally everything, every part of what I do here on Wednesdays.
<laughs> Too many dimensions. Not enough time. Time is a dimension, you're right. Forgot about that. That's like the ninth ninth dimension. What are all the dimensions? <laughs> what are the dimensions? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. That was a twofer. I think time's the ninth. Uh yeah, I think it's first XYZ. Um uh, X. I already said X. X, Y, Z. Then there's the sixth dimension is number four. Um, space is number five. Hope is number six. Um, acceptance is number seven. Eight is um, sp uh, the X dimension again. And then nine is time. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah, and Dimension 20 is Dimension 10. Is this a reference? Not, I don't think so. <laughs> That's just how dimensions work. I never make references. I don't like nerd shit. Okay, here's this perfect Hollow Knight bunny. Let me put, the, let me put some clothes on this bunny. And let me also, actually, while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and delete these eyes. Oh, thank you for re-upping your subscription, Dr. B42. Okay, this uh, tabard has gotten a little off. That's fine. Let's go ahead and puff that up. <laughs> Dog Dipper is exactly like that. Yeah, that's true. You can only, you know, a sausage is only going to go so big. I don't, did I make a sausage on this stream? What could that have been referenced to? I don't think I've ever made a sausage on stream. Dino Topo, come on. Don't do me like this. Thank you, Austin Lionheart, for re-upping your subscribe. Your, your Prime subscribe. I appreciate that. All right, let me soup up this cool dress, this cool tabard. Can I do this? Is this a good way of doing this? Probably not. We're gonna, <laughs> if I do this long enough, I'm just gonna end up upskirting this bunny, which I don't feel great about. And I'm not gonna make a funny quip that can be added to my quotes about that. <laughs> Cause I just think upskirting's the worst thing. Okay. But I got a plan. Uh, two see-through. Better. All right.
Oh no. This is gonna be ungainly. <laughs> exactly, cinnamon shakes. <laughs> I can't upskirt if there's no body. All right, and then we'll just extrude that up and deal with the consequences then. Yeah, and that's how dresses are made. Yeah. <laughs> uh, eerie. Okay. God, it's strangely quiet without laser sounds outside. I say, you know, you never you never know what you're missing until it's gone. Don't it, don't it always seem to go that you don't miss the laser songs till they're gone? All right, let's get this bod back. Looking tight. Oh, uh, Cinnamon Shakes, thank you for reminding me. Yes, we absolutely have to do that. For sure, for sure. Uh, I was told, I totally forgot about Tail, but that's one of the things that we list as being a very important part of Bunny. All right, let me get this dress looking okay enough. Sometimes that's uh, how a dress needs to be. Not the best dress in the world, but okay enough. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Hello. Hello. Hello, Benavir. Ah. Uh, all right, let's go. That's how we're going to do this. I'm going to select you. And we're just going to, I guess we're just going to massage the back area. We're going to inflate this and then shape it legs come off a little bit oh. Okay. All right. You're going to get back under the dress? Kind of wanted sticking out a lot more than I was hoping.
There we go. Does that look like a tail? Is that good? <laughs> it is kind of a just the tube the tube look. Oh Quanta, thank you. Thank you. That's extremely sweet. It's been delightful. It's been fun for me as well, also seeing how my blender skills improve. It is weird watching that like um the introductory video that I have now with all the all the various beautiful creatures <laughs> that have been made on here. It's interesting to watch that and be like, okay, progress. Is this the best way of doing this? I wanted to do like a little belt. Hmm. The tail seems high. All right, let me see. Let me yoinkle that. You know what? You're right. You're right. It does seem high. When I saw it compared to where I put the legs, it was like, yeah, that is pretty high up. Let me scoot this kaboot. Doot. Doot. Down. Oh, cinnamon shakes. That's a really cool idea. I don't... I don't think it does, although I guess there's nothing to stop me. I don't think there's anything built in, but like hypothetically, I could just like re-record just the blender part of the screen at like double speed, maybe like on the VOD. That could be, that might be cool. I might try around with that. Yeah, yeah, I might be able to speed up the VOD in a way that's interesting. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know how to make this read as a tabard <laughs> is the is the thing. I don't know if belt is going to help. But it probably can't hurt. A crest might help. Interesting, Knife Snail. What kind of crest would such a creature have? A carrot is the obvious answer. You are correct. Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's almost too obvious, you know, right? Like, oh, you're a bunny and you've got like a bunny sword and your crest is like a bunny. It's like, <laughs> who even are you outside of this? Egg crest would be funny. <laughs> Egg crest would be just complexing, perplexing enough. I like what I like about egg crest is it's a simple shape, cause, so it'd be easy for me to do. Would it? It might be so easy that it doesn't even look like uh, anything, though. Yeah, the Easter is a little bit more subtle. Oh, a clover. A clover is a very good idea. I like clover. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me. All right. Let's look at, let's look at the shading that we've got going on. Tambered. I guess it should be, again, it should be real dark. I guess it should be, actually, hold on. Oh, 
Oh, dandelions. That would be cute. Let me finish. I'm going to add uh, all of these various mm, visual stuff. Colors, I think they're called. The colors in Blender are very weird and sometimes frustrating to deal with. Okay. And the money itself, I think, is just going to have to be this sort of... Uh, kind of paley color. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the teeth hole. <laughs> well, let me, hold on, let me do this and see if this works. Whoops. This is going to work from for some angles and not for others. I don't know how to do, I don't know how to color the inside of these things. I, I have to assume it is possible, but I don't know necessarily how to do it. Oh, a sphere might be, yeah, a sphere might be a better idea. Let me, let me try that. And this will just be the eye. <laughs> this will just be the whole eye. There we go. One, one eye. One perfect eye. Kind of, kind of faded into Jack Skellington territory there for a second. The mouth did get a little whack on account of how the vertices work. Let me, I'm going to adjust these vertices. Hold on. <laughs> Cinnamon. Yeah, the eye holes are for sure jagged. I don't know how much I really want to focus on getting this all looking perfect. Because I know perfection is an illusion. And no matter how much I fuss with these, it's still going to look a little bit weird. Especially because I'm not moving them on any sort of set grid. And so they're just getting, they look less jagged here, but I know they're just getting more jagged in a different direction. Although that does look better. That does look better. All right, hold on. This is worth it. 
there were one or two of these blends when I went back and like tidied up the pixels like I have seen professionals do on their blends and it was obnoxious to do. It did make everything look tidier, but like at what cost? And the answer is the cost of time, the eighth dimension. But you can't say it doesn't look better. You know, I bet they do have a smoothing tool. <laughs> they probably... Did I say time was the eighth dimension? Did I say it was the ninth dimension? Or you probably just think that because of how weird time is on account of it's the eighth dimension. All right. We're... Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Nasty of this lance. Right now it's perfect and it's beautiful, and that's fine for it. But I want to na nasty it up a little bit. If every carrot was perfect, we wouldn't need cake. Carrot cake. If every carrot were perfect, we wouldn't have carrot cake. You wouldn't have baby carrots. Yeah, that's a good call. About the 11 dimensions allowed through string theory. That's so many dimensions. I'm already struggling with just the three that I have access to perceptually. Just folding the lower dimensions into the higher ones. You know, I haven't, I haven't, I've been recommended coherence by uh, other people and it's on my list. I haven't gotten a chance yet. How do I, let me, how am I going to take a bite out of this thing? And where would it be most visible to do that from? Maybe like right here. I don't like that my cursor has become an oval. And I don't know what I can do about it. Oh God. The eyeball orb has really out <laughs> is really <sighs> really peeking through. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Wait. That was okay, where'd the rest of you bits come from? I thought that was gonna be all orb. Is that from you, Bunny? What did I do to your sweet brain? Well, we'll just cover that up. Nobody sees. That is a hole. Did I do that? <laughs> Did I make that hole? That's not great. I mean, holes happen. Oh, hey, Nathan's other show. Welcome. How did, um, were you still, uh, you were playing Civil Civilization while I was watching earlier. Presumably you still were. 
Uh, presumably it went good and you did a good job oh I made the whole inside out well well I made I did make the whole inside out though <laughs> can I remember how to flip that I'll show you guys what we're making in a moment hold on oh beautify that face beautify that face did that do it Yeah, that's one beautiful face. There we go. Here's our beautiful, um, beautiful, perfect Hollow Knight rabbit. Yeah, this is a very good friend. It's got a cool, well, the, we're going to clean up that carrot a little bit. It's got a cool carrot lance. Uh, it's got a cool ominous face. Thank you. It's come, it's come along pretty nice. We're trying to decide what we are going to put on the tabard. I'm not drinking an imported Asahi. I'm drinking Chew High Grapefruit and Alcoholic Beverage. Hmm. Yeah, the tabard is so that we don't see this beautiful bunny's beautiful bod. We don't have the right. Uh, all right, let me see if I can't unwrap this thing. But not, in, again, to emphasize, I'm going to unwrap it, but not in a sensual way. A perfectly modest way. So we can add... So we can add a little bit, a little bit of shading to it. Um, we're going to do... Do I want to do texture paint? Mm. Yeah. A tasteful, discreet unwrapping. All right, let's create a new um, tabard. Ooh. Let's save it as tabard.png. Yeah, you guys missed the, the segment in between where the bunny was really thick. In fact, you can see it if you are if you keep your eyes peeled. Whoop. Just this discreet little whoop. It got, it got a little bit thinner because we had to put the tabard on. I want the tabard to have a, a, good, a good, good perceptible thickness. Are you going to do... Oh, no. Hold on. I have to connect you. Okay. It's one of your favorite parts of modeling? I'm not going to lie. One, one of my least favorite parts. <laughs> I find it so... I find it... I don't love it. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm still getting used to it. So uh, maybe if I were better at it, I would enjoy it more. Okay, let's see if we can't <laughs> figure this out. Let me look at what a tabard even looks like. Tabard is one of those words that I throw around as though I know for sure what it is, but honestly, couldn't I don't think I could tell you. Okay, you know, you know what? I'm looking at tabards. I was pretty close. It's just a long tunic. Yeah, Drazia, I also normally just do solid color textures. It's easiest. Okay, so we had some good recommendations for things to draw. We could do like a D&D lion. Um, that's not how you spell dandelion. I did spell it like a dandelion. Could do dandelion, we could do a clover. I think a clover might be easy, but would it be thematic? Maybe if I get this nice green. Do that, full string.
clover logo clove clovo clove 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 clogo clogo yeah clogo um should be three leaf four leaf it should be four leaf this rabbit should treat itself to a four leaf okay Uh, let me actually, I'm going to, before we get into this, change the background color of this to whatever we had before. What about five leaf? I don't know if we'll have space for five leaves, but you are all right that it is, luck is an order of magnitude, so that would be more lucky. Why is the blender color selection so whack? Is that good? Is that a good look? No, hold on. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful baby. A six leaf clover. Quanta, are you very lucky? Have you noticed advantages based on this? Or has it really done nothing for you? I'm giving my, myself more topography so I can make nicer clovers. That's what I'm doing right now. This is one of those things where I'm like, this might not, it might not make much sense what I'm doing here other than smoothing, spending an inordinate amount of time smoothing over this rabbit's chest. Six leaves seems like a lot of luck. Like at what point does your luck run out of leaves? At what point do you have too many leaves for it to be lucky anymore? Because there's got to be a point. 12? You think you can get to 12 and still be lucky? That feels like so much to me. All right, let's look a clover. Let's look a clover in the face. Why did you do that? <laughs> blender, why did you make it all go a color? Whoa, Blender. Hey, Blender. Blender? Blender. Blender? <laughs> why? Blender? Uh, Knife Snail, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it doing this? I mean, maybe that's okay. But like, why though? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Knife Snail. I've got bigger things on my plate, which is why the fuck the rest of this changed a weird color. I don't have an answer and it's infuriating. Now what are you doing? This is, stuff like this is why I don't like texture paint. It's so weird and finnick. Big finnick. I don't, I don't know why. My space potato, I don't know why. 
It's haunted. Hand painting checksters in Photoshop. If I had access to Photoshop on this computer, I would probably try to do that more often. But I got to make do. All right, I'm going to add a little. A little bit of texture. Blender is haunted. This is a cursed software. <laughs> I love it, but it's cursed for sure. Uh, Do there we go. Good. I'm glad that quote got got put on the quote list. It's always interesting to see what stuff makes the cut to the quote list. Oh yeah, O might mean random quote. Quanta, that's a good tri criteria. That's good. That's a good stance. Again, Bunny, what is happening with your dress? What is happening with it? Why? Okay, there we go. I think I've solved it. I don't know how. But I've least covered up. So weird. So weird. Okay, okay. All right, let's look at this cutie. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, creepy. Oh, it's creepy with the lights out. <laughs> it's really <laughs> creepy with the lights out. All right, is there anything else this cute, perfect little bun needs? Accessory-wise? I think she came out real good. I'm gonna clean up the, I'll clean up the carrot a little bit. Actually, we've got a little bit, a kios. A kiss. 
That's you have to do that on your own time. <laughs> Nicholas, it's entirely okay to be doubtful about this process. It's, I would argue, a bad process. It's a dubious process. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I think this one kind of worked. I think it's, I think it's pretty good. The, I do here, I do think the eye holes, I was dubious about the eye holes, but we pulled it through. And what I like is that you can see like the shadow <laughs> of the skull. Um, the chonkiness is not showing through. I'm sorry to hear that. That's tricky. I do like that you can see the shadow of the skeletal part of the bun overhanging. That turned out great. Um, I feel good about this bunny. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think that's everything. We made one perfect bunny. I thought we were going to make a whole bunch of animals. I thought I was going to be able to, to pop them out. Bing, bang, boom. Um, no problem. We're going to make eight animals. <laughs> and that did not turn out to be what happened. But I still feel great about the work that we've done here today. And I think all of you should as well. The bunny's name is Bunavir. Um... Peter suggested a last name, but I cannot remember what it is anymore. Yeah, knife snail. The good the good news about fighting this bunny is that um, they are they are right next to a save spot, so it's not going to be like the worst fight, but it's not it's going to be hard. Humperdink. Yeah, it was. Thank you, Humperdink's great. Benavir Humperdink. <laughs> That's very funny to say out loud, and I do recommend you try it. Bon Iver Humperdinck of House Clover. This is in the DLC. This is in, if this is not in the Silk Song DLC, I don't know what is they're even going to bother to have, honestly. Because this is incredible. Got a little cute little bunny, cute little tail. All right, let me uh, hop on and see who's, ra who's rateable, who's out there. I also got raided by Dork Apocalypse with a party of one. And I saw, I'm so sorry, Dork Apocalypse. I did miss that. Uh, I was so deep in the bun, as you get sometimes. Uh, I was living that deep bun life. I see Sleepover, Secret Sleepover uh, party is not, it's not, I know it's not Secret Sleepover party, but they're not streaming right now. So let's uh, hop in on Jarvis, actually. They on vacay? Hell yeah. They deserve it. Ooh, Q Bunny TV. What is Q Bunny TV? Let me let me peek at this and then I don't see why not. Is it bunnies? <gasps> it's bunnies! We're gonna raid bunnies! Amazing. All right. Thank you, everybody, once again for an excellent, excellent stream. I had a great time making this cool Hollow Knight character, and I think we're going to do this again. Maybe not next week, but at some point. Uh, have a good rest of your week. I'll see you all hopefully Sunday for the game stream that happens at noon Eastern time. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>